Y'all thought these Dragon Ball Z update ideas were dead, didn't ya? Nah, guys, I'm kidding. No worries. They're not dead, guys. I'm still working on Final Stand videos like this one right here. Now, guys, if you want more Final Stand content, leave a like, subscribe, everything. You guys know what to do. But, guys, let's get right into this video. As you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, we're discussing an idea that a lot of you had about a potential hit race that may be coming to games such as Dragon Ball Z Final Stand. Games that could implement it based on the ideas we present in this video, guys. Remember, this video is just an idea, guys, okay? So let's get right into it, guys. The first thing I want to talk about is Hit and his history. Hit, he's basically the time guy of Dragon Ball Super, guys, okay? We know him as the guy that's basically doing the time skips and everything. Kind of reminds me of Goldo from the Ginyu Force, how he could freeze time. But Hit is more so like a not never hit or miss guy, okay? Goldo is someone you can kind of percept and see what he's going to do. But for Hit, you kind of just have to feel for what he's doing. You got to learn more to be able to beat him. And that's what makes Hit's race so ambiguous, so weird to fight. So... He is known as the legendary hitman in Dragon Ball Super, someone who's known to be hired for by other people in different universes and stuff like that to be an assassin of Universe 6. Now, he's also part of the he's basically the leader of Universe 6 as well when they fought in the Tournament of Power and when they fought against Universe 7 in that little mini tournament. Now, when it comes to him, guys, he's more of like a non-talk nonchalant guy and stuff like that. He's tall, muscular, and he's purple skin. But what we want to realize, guys, is that he looks really similar to a lot of races already in Final Stand. He reminds me of the Majin race, and he also reminds me of the Namekian race, a combination between the two. And a little bit of the Arcosian race as well, with the little facial structure. Now, when it comes to this guy, guys, if this guy were added to the like the whole game and everything like that, I think he would be considered an off-worlder as well, alongside the Jiren race and the Beerus race. So, real quick, I'm just going to say, I don't think this is possible to be added to the game, because we don't know much about him, but we do know transformations that are canon to him which makes it a lot easier for this to be added if snake world were to watch this video this is one of the easiest to add compared to like beerus and jiren compared to those two this one's easier because this one has definite transformations that are completely canon compared to the other two now when it comes to hit guys we know what he looks like he's purple tall and everything like that and i'm thinking if this race were added to the game they could be tall or short regardless but their skin would most likely be two different shades of skin it would be like a light purple and then like a dark purple and then maybe like a light blue and a dark blue a light green and a dark green stuff like that basically the opposites of the each side of the spectrum of light and dark that way it looks like you're like having little shades on your ears and your face and stuff like that and then for eyes i really don't think the color of the eyes matters make it completely black like other races and stuff like that now the next thing i want to talk about guys is the hit race in general the potential of this being added is good, but I want to talk about these stat points and what these stat points for this could be, everybody. So, when it comes to the hit race, I think that they should major in melee damage and speed. The reason I say melee damage is because although hit does do a lot of time stopping, he does fight with melee sometimes in his time stopping. And I feel like I feel like that's more useful when you're doing like those time stopping abilities because we know there's a hit game pass in the game, so the player could look like hit, but they might not be able to do his move sets if they do not get the game pass, which would make sense in my opinion because we don't know if it's like a whole race based thing, and we don't or we don't know if it's just a thing he learned over time or developed on his own. But regardless, I feel like melee damage and speed are a good thing because speed has more to do with him and time. So I think that makes sense for me. I don't know about you guys, but comment down below what comments or what stats you think they should major in this race right here, the hit race. I think it should be melee damage and speed. Now, when it comes to the stat points they receive, Saiyans receive one every three levels, Andrews receive one every one level, and I think the hit race should receive one every two levels. The reason I say one every two levels is because they don't have as much potential as the Saiyans, but they are quite strong. They're formidable opponents, guys. We've noticed from Hit, he's pretty formidable, but we don't know much about him because he's the only one, one we know about his race. He's the only member of his race that we know of. Now, on to the transformations, guys. This is a very, very short list of transformations, guys. There's literally two transformations in this list. Now, the reason I have two guys is because that's all it really needs. This, this whole race doesn't really need many transformations. But with these transformations and alongside the one stat point every two levels, I think this will be a pretty good race to be playing as. Now, the first transformation, guys, is the Awoken form. This is canon to Awoken. Now, I'm not going to delve into the information from the show and stuff like that because for pure progress and stuff like that, it's like, oh, every time he uses it, it gets stronger. Someone mentioned that. I'm like, no, that doesn't make sense. That'd be too overpowered. So I'm thinking for the Awoken form, the player would have like maybe like a purple aura or something like that but the level requirement first guys okay let's talk about the level requirement i'm thinking the level requirement would be level 100 but not only that i'm not going to make the stat points the same i think the stat points should be different from the level requirement because that's what i think should happen now when it comes to the stat points i think they should be 135 the reason i say 135 is because this isn't a woken state it's basically him awakening his true power against the opponent or her power against the opponent it's basically the hit race awakening their true power 
Now this isn't just some weak state, so I think it should be stronger than the level requirement. That way the player gets more out of it, but they're also still going to have low stat points, which doesn't make them too overpowered when they do use it. Now guys, this transformation, the way I think it should look, I think it should look like a white aura with some purple tint towards the ends of it. That way it looks a little bit not like simple like the earthling transformations like mystic and stuff like that and maybe a little bit of lightning or wind around it spinning which would be pretty cool a little nice touch you know what i'm saying guys now when it comes to this transformation guys this one is canon and so is the next one so i think it's really cool and it's said that this transformation also improves his time skip but we're just going to ignore that guys because this also improves his like going to pure progress so when it comes to the next transformation guys pure progress as i mentioned quite a bit earlier this is coming after the awoken state and it said that he goes to this state after he's already activated awoken so i'm thinking what if we require the player to go to awoken to use this but that might take a little bit too long so we're not going to do that guys so what if we did this what if we made this form a level requirement of 325 that's a quite a bit of a higher level than awoken form but awoken form still pretty decent now the reason i went to a 325 was because again i wanted to make the stat points higher than the level transformation now the stat points that i think this should have is 370. the reason i say 370 is because it's more than double of the awoken form so it does make it more powerful especially worthwhile because you're leveling up three times more than other races to get this second transformation and you're also getting almost three times more of the stat points which is worth it in my opinion now the way this looks guys in the series when he used pit progress or pure progress sorry when hit used pure progress he has purple aura around him there was a lot of wind surrounding him and i think that would be freaking dope to add into final stand i think it'd look cool if pure progress were added to the game and they had that purple aura with a really really royal purple so it looked really cool and then the middle of it was like a more of like a white pale purple that blended into it like a gradient which would look pretty cool and then like the wind around it surrounding it would also be a nice touch to make it look more realistic although that doesn't really matter it's snake world's choice now guys when it comes to the hit race that's pretty much all I have for the transformations. We've seen pure progress appear in video games before. Like, we've seen it in Doken Battle, I think. I think Doken Battle had it as well. But we also know that Xenoverse 2 had hit in him. And Xenoverse 2's hit was pretty good. And also, Dragon Ball Fighter Z had hit in his as well. So we know that hit has been in video games. We know his movesets and everything. But that's not what matters. What matters is, is the race, the stat points, the looks, and the transformations. Which is what I discuss in these videos, guys. I don't think racers should really have race specific techniques mainly because hits race already has a game pass for it so there's no point but when it comes to other races i may change my mind for stuff like maybe the demon clan or maybe the omega shenron race and stuff like that the black star dragon ball race basically so when it comes to those guys it might be different but for this race guys the hit race i'm thinking it's not really so that much so when it comes to this guys hit is a i'm thinking he's more gonna be so like a melee damage and speed type of guy like i mentioned earlier and again, the reason I say that is because of the time stopping the capability. And I think that really does affect the player's capability to fight in final stand if they were to select this race. And with the combination of the hit game pass, I think that would be so cool if it had like a little of a stat boost because you chose that hit race and then you also got the game pass. That way Snake War could incentivize players to actually purchase the hit game pass in order to become hit in game guys, okay? So guys, what do you think, okay? Comment down below your ideas. Any other race ideas you guys have, comment them down below. Any Naruto RPG videos beyond videos you have, guys, ideas for those, comment them down below. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like, okay? I would appreciate it if you did. I want to try to get to at least 30 likes on this video, guys. I want you guys to link this to your friends as well because I want people to know about these idea videos, guys, okay? The more that I see people watching these videos and appreciating what I write, but just by commenting, I don't care about the number of views. I care about you guys commenting and giving me your opinion. So comment down below your opinion. Have your friends watch the video and comment down below their opinion. It doesn't matter how long they watch it. As long as they comment their opinion, guys, I would appreciate it, guys, because I want to know exactly what you guys think of this series because I enjoy doing the series. It does take time, but it's worth the editing effort because I get to talk with you guys in the comment section and I get to understand you guys. So guys, tell me what you think in the comment section down below, guys. Also, leave a like on the video if you haven't already. Join the Robros today by subscribing, guys. And cop the merch, link is down below, guys. It's going off sale at the end of April, so get it while you can. Less than 13 days left until it goes off sale, guys. So get it while you can, please. And also, guys, do me a favor. Guys, follow me on Twitter, at Roball01. I'll leave it linked down below, as well as my Discord chat, which you can join that too, and they recommend ideas there too. And the merch is linked down below as well, guys. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like and everything like that. Till then, it's been your man, Roball. I'm signing out now, and I'll see you guys in the next Final Stand video. Peace, guys.